I heard a woman crying in my stables, her heart clearly broken beyond mending. Yet no matter how hard I searched through all the stalls, and in every corner, I couldn't find anyone there. Yet her crying never stopped. She sounded as though she was right beside me, waiting for me to notice her tears and her pain. Yet no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find her. It was very, very late into the night when I was finally able to fall asleep. And when I did, she finally found me. All Hallows' Eve. On this day, the veil between the world of the living and the departed is thinnest. Spirits can pass from our world and theirs as they please. On the island of Jorvik, this is when Tumhuk can roam freely. The ghostly nature of Tumhuk has turned them into quite shy creatures, so it will take a while for them to warm up to you and the other horses of your stable. But once you do become friends, you gain loyalty and devotion like no other. On Jorvik, death is not something to be feared. It is part of the cycle of life. Nature dies in the winter to bloom again in the spring. People say goodbye to their loved ones, but they are kept alive through memories. And the horses of Jorvik become one with the earth, only to come back as the legendary Tumhuf and roam the lands once more. And so this Hallow's Eve, a new story begins. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Star Stable Adventures, where we are actually in the middle of a midnight dream with the arrival of the new Halloween event. Look at this beautiful horse. Oh my gosh, I am so in love. I know I said we wouldn't be getting any more new horses, and I know I said I was going to absolutely do my best to, you know, stand my ground and take good care of the horses we already had, not get lured in by how much that uh, all of the new horses have beautiful animations and beautiful coloring. I did really good being able to pass up the Jorvik wild horse. I was very proud of myself. And then the doom of arrived. Look at this beautiful horse. How could I possibly resist? I mean, look at her. My friends, I would like all of you to meet Moonbeam. So Moonbeam is a tomb hoof horse, which are the newest magic Yorvik horse breed to arrive for Halloween. And I fell completely in love with her. I mean, just look at her. She's gorgeous. Look at that. You can see her skeleton when she is out and about in the wild or in the more populated areas. She has the most stunning striped coat. I couldn't help myself. But thankfully, we had a really good reason to include Tomb Hoof into our family or Moonbeam, who is a Tomb Hoof, into our family. And that, my friends, is the fact that our stable was haunted, as you guys actually saw in the episode that came out today. And we had just someone crying nonstop in my stable for some completely unknown glitchy reason. It scared me so much when it happened. I had goosebumps all over my neck in real life. And then I realized the tomb hoof was the perfect explanation for that creepy, crawly moment. Because I'm going to say, the ghost we heard crying her heart out in my stable was the ghost of a woman who was devastated not for her own demise, but the fact that no one was left to remember her beloved horse, Moonbeam, who served her as a companion, as a friend, it's so long ago that people don't even remember the woman's name, let alone the name of the horse that really went on adventures just solo in the forest with her all the time. She was the only one who really carried the memories of Moonbeam in her heart, of Moonbeam's playfulness, of how Moonbeam would explore the Forest of Mistfall back before they were possibly even called the Forest of Mistfall with her. And when the woman died, she realized that she hadn't shared the memories of Moonbeam with enough people. And so Moonbeam no longer really existed in anyone's hearts. And that is why she was crying in my stable. We have a uh, somewhat excess amount of magic Yorvik horse energy in my stables after all. So I'm sure that as a ghost, she was able to access me a little too easily. However, we're going to say I fell asleep right before the portal to Galloper's Keep, which is where we are at. 
uh, opened up and the ghost was able to send us here. So in my dreams. So I'm now here in my dream and help me to meet Moonbeam, who has instantly bonded with us in the hopes of fulfilling her former partner's heart, ghostly heart and afterlife wishes and having Moonbeam's memories be restored once more to someone who can share them and make sure that Moonbeam is not lost to dust forever. So welcome to Moonbeam! Holy cow! I love your origin story, Moonbeam! You're amazing! And yes, guys, we are currently at Galloper's Keep. I am wearing my best Halloween outfit, but there are some new events and some new outfits here we are totally going to be checking out, including a ever important, ever essential addition if we are going to add Moonbeam into our family. You see, Moonbeam is not going to be alone. There's new saddle pads! <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and check out the new saddle pads because I am so excited to see them. You guys know that's like my weak point, saddle pets and magic horses, apparently. The latter not being something that I thought would be something that would get me every time, and yet here we are. And there is a weak point currently throwing a party here at the keep for those of you who uh, whose weak point may be Yidris himself. He's throwing a huge party this year? Is he? Yeah, he's actually hanging out up top. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and visit with the uh, Mage? Magician? I don't even know what he is. Himself. Oh, that's so cool! <gasps> what kind of cool effect was that? Okay, there's some new magical stuff going on. So we're going to make the most of this dream and explore Galloper's Keep and the Halloween things that are currently going on this year. I really do love anything to do with magic after all. But all right. So here's where you can find the horses of the past. We already have Fire Lord who evolved into that amazing creature a while ago. We have our own tombstone who has come to grace us with her presence. And we already have our wonderful Fern Mist and Pumpkin Spice who are, I think her name isn't Pumpkin Spice, but I'm gonna remember her name is Pumpkin Spice who are hanging out at our stable, but you can come over and you can go ahead and get yourself the lovely Pepita or the fantastic wood deer, if uh, wood ear or wood deer, which depending on how you want to pronounce it, uh, which are also some of my favorite magic horses. But here, with the spooks, with the ghouls, with the magic and magicians, we actually have a new saddle pet. You guys, check it out! It is a little skelly cat. This spooky kitty followed their horse friend into the other world one day and came back looking like a skeleton. Not a fan of foods with bones. Oh my gosh, I love the skeleton cat. Like, look at this little one. We're absolutely going to adopt it because we're going to say Moonbeam, who is named because she was found perhaps by her former person. Uh, owner's not really the right word. We'll say partner. She was found by her former riding partner in a forest at night, standing in a moonbeam. Whatever history she had before that is a mystery even to her former partner. However, after a while, that former partner who had a cat, the cat and moonbeam also became best friends. So we are absolutely not going to be leaving behind the cat. We're gonna be getting the skelly cat. Look at how freaking cute it is. Let's go ahead and grab that, that kitty cat. And then I think I already have a black cat, but if not, we will definitely be back. Okay. Okay, the black cat I think wants to... Oh. All right, you know what? Fine. Black cat, you can come with us too. <laughs> For some reason, I cannot get back on my horse. So we're just going to say that we got the black cat too. It's the sibling. We'll say it's either the, the distant descendant... Yeah, it's the distant, distant descendant of the cat we have. That seems nice and magical. See, we have the black cat who is like the who even can count how many generations removed descendant of the other cat. Uh, and then here we have the skelly cat who we are actually going to be naming. I hope you guys are ready for this. Okay, we gotta get the saddle bag on first. Thankfully, it seems that the ghost slipped in a knight saddle and a knight halter. And the ghost also slipped in a little spider brooch, just because why not? We, we like spiders around here. In fact, I wish we had a saddle pet spider, but I, I haven't gotten there yet, even after all these years. But welcome, my friends, to this new spooky kitty, who we are going to go ahead and name Gideon. 
After one of the most spooky and bone-filled books I have ever read, I'm currently reading Harrow the Ninth after I finished Gideon the Ninth. Look at that skelly cat, yes! Oh, how I wish we could pet it. I love it so much. But I loved Gideon, even though I really thought I would not like that book. Um, I loved that book, and I'm quite intrigued to continue on with Harrow the Ninth. So those are some of the spookiest books that I have currently read, and Gideon has everything to do with bones. So welcome to little Gideon, who is definitely going to be friends with our brand new horse, Moonbeam. Very happy about this. I feel decked out. I feel ready. I feel prepared to celebrate the fact that it is the spooky season. But let's go ahead and see what other celebrations are currently going about since it is spooky season. Come on, Gideon. Get those little phalanges and leg bones roaming. And let's come up and see because it does not seem to be Galloper himself who is running the, the Halloween party this year. Instead, it is Yidris. And I know how many of you guys are somewhat more than obsessed with him. So let's do this. Little Dove, how delightful you could join my party. <laughs> oh, I can hear people like squeaking in the background already. Magnificent place, isn't it? I was just walking the space between worlds when I found the chateau floating between eternities. So grand, so majestic, but oh so dreary. Not being able to stand the negative emotions held up within these walls, I decided to liven it up with the party of dreams. The old headless man objected, so I put him in time out to cool his neck. He can just bring the entire place down with his looming he just bring the entire place down with his looming presence and creepy breathing. A party is no party without guest, so I'm hoping that you can search for some more guests over your book. Look for the ghostly tornado marks in the sky at the top of the hour, and bring the soul shards you find here. You will bring all kinds of wayward spirits back to our beautiful party. Whoa, so there's actually like a quest to go get the wayward spirits this year? Enjoy the party, little dove. I do hope you will bring me many guests. How cool! All right, so we're definitely gonna say that maybe this Halloween we have gotten a assignment to help soothe the spirits. And with Moonbeam's help, we can hopefully guide them. Maybe we can see the ghost easier when we ride Moonbeam. That seems like a very special ability for Moonbeam to have. And Gideon, no doubt, is fantastic at digging up old bones. Not a dog, but a cat with, you know, skeleton, uh, skeleton habits. And then, let's see, anything new over here? <gasps> there are some new items! Oh, I love these masks! How cool! Okay, these masks are actually pretty amazing. I kind of want a whole new outfit just to center around these masks. But check these out, you guys! Okay, so there's new masks. There's also old masks. I'm not really like a huge fan of the paper mask look, but it's kind of cool that there's so many of them. And they could be useful in their own way. Oh, haha. <laughs> They could be useful in their own way in the future. All right, I might get one of those masks, but I feel like I would need a whole new outfit to go with it. Then of course, as usual, and you can check out the Star Stable news if you want to see like all of the updates that are coming out for the Halloween event. The Halloween event is bigger than the Christmas event, in my opinion. It's huge. It's like the event of the year. Um, but we also have a whole bunch of the horse powders. Those can only be used if you have your starter horse. And then right over here, we have got <gasps> new outfits. Yes. Okay. So what do we have? A nice crimson top hat. <gasps> I love this crimson count top. Throw lavish parties with your friends and have dinner in this Halloween 2020 set. Okay. That's actually amazing. I love it. And it would definitely match with some of the masks, but I love the Willow Whiskers mask. Okay. The Willow Whiskers mask is my new favorite. We're going to go ahead and grab that and put it on like right now. All right, what else do we have? The Crimson Count Saddle, the Willow Whiskers Saddle. There's a whole saddle set for the Willow Whiskers, which I love. And then let's see, Bewitching Halloween dress was from last year. The Bewitching Halloween hats. I might get a normal witch hat that we're currently wearing the Easter witch hat. So I might get a normal witch hat to kind of match everything else. Um, we already have this set of spider web. Man, we've gone to so many Halloween events over the years. 
<laughs> it's kind of amazing to think about how many we've been through. All right, let's see. Ooh, those bewitching leggings could be useful, but I think if we were going to, oh, the Galloper's Grizzly Blanket. I need to figure out where I already have that because that would look really good on my horse, on our wonderful Moonbeam. Especially if we decided to go ahead and have, okay, that Crimson Count top is too amazing. All right, Crimson Count top and will -O whiskers leggings, kind of cute but I like the pants I have right now. We could do Crimson Count gloves. I mean, that would be kind of nice. I like the Crimson Count boots, to be honest. That's kind of awesome. But all right, let's go ahead and see. I actually feel wonder if the hat we have from the Halloween event. Okay, that actually looks great. I'm really pleased with this outfit. <laughs> There we go. So now we can be a spirit mage and we can go around and try to collect the lost spirits. And there's even a giant storage pumpkin over here in case you need to open up and see. Oh, that's so cute. His top just pops right off when you do that. In case you need to open it up and see what resources you already have. But all right, my friends, it seems that we have been tasked with setting off to find spirits with spirit tornadoes around the world. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that as effectively as I hope, but maybe, maybe, maybe. So I'm going to set forth and see if we can find some of those spirits out and about in the world with Moonbeam, who is our new horse who sees ghosts and is going to help us to gather them up and see their final wishes come true. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our new Hollow's Eve dream. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>